Hey guys, it's Justin here at Texas Magnolia Home. If this is your first time on our channel and you like DIY projects, home decor, and home renovations, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. In this week's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to turn an old ladder and some olive buckets into a wonderful chandelier for any room of your home. We're actually going to use this in our laundry room and I can't wait to show you guys. Another cool thing about this DIY project is you can find all these items online so you can recreate it yourself. Make sure to check the description box down below for all the different items needed. Okay, so the first item you need is an old ladder. I found this on Etsy at a rustic garden, and the hardware on it is beautiful, and this thing was only 30 bucks. Okay, so the next thing you'll need is these three olive buckets. You could also do lanterns, or different kind of feeders, or whatever, but I like the idea of the olive buckets, and I'll leave these in the description box down below as well. Next is this three light lighting kit from Wayfair. Some chain that I picked up from my local Walmart, then some screw eyes from Walmart, and some S hooks as well. And then lastly, I picked up some spray paint from Walmart. These aren't necessarily important in the project, but if you want the chain to look a little bit more rustic to match the hardware that's on the ladder, then I definitely su suggest this. This is the Rust Oleum Hammered Spray Paint, and then also I'm gonna use this as a primer, and it's the Rust Oleum High Performance Enamel Black Paint. Okay, so first off, I decided to put two screws off of a tree branch and hang my five foot long piece of chain for this project. I did this because it's going to allow me to cover the chains much quicker, much faster, with better coverage than just laying it on a piece of cardboard on the ground. So first off, I have my high performance enamel Rust-Oleum paint that I'm covering the chains with. Uh, I was actually able to get all this done pretty much in one coat, just moving around. Next is our second Rust-Oleum paint. It's called Hammered, um, and I'm just going to use this paint uh, sparingly on the chain to give a layered effect. It actually has a textured, ground type look. Okay guys, now off to the S hooks and screw eyes. So basically, I am just trying to achieve a one good coat coverage over these guys. You'll need four S hooks and four equal size screw eyes. Okay, so after approximately 15 minutes of dry time, you'll want to flip them over and then take your black Rust-Oleum High Performance Enable Spray Paint and achieve the same exact equal coverage over them. Okay, so next I'm taking my hammered Rust-Oleum spray paint and I'm just doing a light coat allowing the black still to pull through. Aren't these like the cutest replica olive buckets you can ever find? They're so cheap too. All right guys, so the first step is getting a pencil and a ruler. I'm using this level because it's a visual aid for you guys to see my measurements. Now the bucket is approximately six and a half inches wide, so I'm gonna split it down the middle at three and a quarter inches. Now I'm going to measure it both uh, ways where left and right and front and back, just to make sure I'm hitting the exact center of the bucket when I go to drill out the middle piece. Okay, so now, once again, let's pull out some power tools. I'm using a one and three quarter inch cutout, and what I like about this cutout and what I learned in my past DIY project, if you haven't seen it, it's the K-Cup organizer. I'll link it above. But uh, it has a center guide bit that allows the cutout to stay center and not wobble around. Alright guys, so now we're going to attach our four screw eyes to each corner of the ladder and in this portion of the project you will need a ruler, which I'm using my level to show you guys, and a pencil. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ruler on top of our ladder and I'm going to approximately go in the center one inch in and mark it because the next portion of this project is taking a 5 16 inch drill bit and drilling my pilot hole. So I'll do this on all four corners 
and then go in and attach the screw eyes. Okay, so this next portion is going to be attaching my screw eyes. Sometimes I like to use a paper towel when adhering painted metal to something, especially, especially, especially if you're using pliers or screwdrivers to push it in because the insides of the pliers typically will peel off the paint and this will help prevent it. It doesn't work every time, but it works most of the time. So you'll repeat this exact same process on the remainder three corners. Now the next thing you'll need to do is find your center on the three rungs. I marked it because in the next portion of this, you'll take your drill and hollow out those holes. This is what you will need to pull the wire through to create this beautiful, awesome chandelier. There you go guys, it's seriously that easy. Now this next portion of the project is our lighting kit that I got off of Wayfair. I've already disassembled the first portion of it and you can see how it just unscrews, we'll stick the bucket through and screw it all back together. And this other piece in my left hand is just how you attach the wires together. But we'll get into that. So basically you'll need like, a, I don't know what these are called. I call them mini screwdrivers, it's a little flat head. So you'll need to loosen up the screws to break apart the lighting kit. And so basically I'm just detaching the wires and the little, you know, wire plugs on it. And yeah, it's kind of simple, but I would recommend if you don't feel comfortable with this project, make sure you consult with a licensed electrician. I highly recommend it. Now, as I said previously in this, you just basically detach the little screw nut on it and then push it through the bucket. It fits almost perfectly. And then you just screw it back together. It's really simple. So repeat this on all three of them. All right guys, so I already pulled the wire through on the left bucket and the center bucket, but I just wanted to show you guys how it was done. So basically I twisted the wire together and I just pushed it through the hole that I put into the rung. It's like seriously that simple. Now this next portion is rather important. You see my middle finger is how I guided it through the center one. Okay, so when you attach the wires back to the wire connector, it leaves, it will then leave approximately four and a half inches of space between the rung and the top of the light fixture, or top of the bucket, I should say. So basically, if you look on the left side, that's why I took up the electrical tape and wrapped it around. That gave me my four and a half inches of height, so the buckets are all nice, pretty, and level, but you know, nothing can ever be perfect, so it's a little off, but you know what? I would say that just adds character. All right, so you saw me twisting all these wires together and now it is time to put this light kit back together. So I am pushing them back into the connectors and this is when you'll need your itty bitty little bitty screwdriver, whatever they're called, I don't know. And you'll just basically screw them back in, tightening it up. And so when the light fixture is hanging, it will pull to that connection and it'll be nicely spaced out. So tightening this up and you'll actually then go to the next portion and repeat the exact same process. All right guys, so basically you see me repeating the exact same thing, but I just wanted to say, if you like my videos, if you like my DIY projects, 
make sure to give me a big thumbs up and share them. I would love to see someone share my videos. I put a lot of hard work into these things. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I spend hours upon hours filming, thinking these projects out, editing. I actually enjoy the editing portion the most out of creating them, but yeah. Show me some love, leave me a comment, please tell me what y'all think, and yeah, let's keep moving on. All right, so you saw how I intertwined, twine, is it twine? I don't know. And the wire through the chain, and now that's my actually connector point for the light fixture. So I'm doing this last little connection, guys, and get ready for it. Three, two, one. $100, I'm absolutely in love with this custom piece. I think it turned out great and I want to know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below if you really liked how it turned out. And also if you want to share this on any social media platform, feel free. If you like this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. And until next week, bye guys! Mm -hmm.